Hi, this is Nicole from Creative Cottage & Company. Today I'm going to show you how to make a water brush stamp using an image watermark. So first you'll need to open up any uh, image file that has a transparent background. Uh, this one here is a pre-made logo from our shop. Um, if you've ordered from us, uh, you can look in your zip file of your order, and they're usually titled Watermark, and you'll want to open up the darkest one that you have ordered. So we have this brown here that will work. Usually white and lighter colors um, aren't able to be found to make water brushes. Okay, so what we'll do is go to Select All and that's going to put the marching ants tool around our photo and then go to edit define brush preset and then go ahead and name your new watermark okay and so we've just made our brush now when we want to use it you need to open up your photo and I recommend if you're going to play around with it a little bit or you want to have more control over your actual watermark adding a layer on top of your photo to do that simply go to your layers palette over here and click new layer that's going to add a layer right here and then we're going to go onto the toolbar and select the brush tool right over here. Okay, and now that is going to give us our brushes. You're going to come up to the top here, choose the drop down menu for your new brushes. The most recent made brush is going to be down at the bottom, so you're going to scroll all the way down, double click on your brush, and now you're ready to put it on your photo. So the color of your uh, brush stamp is always going to be your foreground color. So today I'm going to make that black. Okay. And you can just stamp it right on. Now that's way too big. So I'm going to take that off. And you can scale the size of your watermark on your keyboard using your bracket tools. So let's bring that down here and stamp that on. Now this has an opacity set to 45. If you'd like to um, make it darker or lighter, you can always move that up. Set to 100% there. Or let's say we won't change our mind, we want to use a color in the picture. Just simply click on your photo. That's another um, nice artistic touch is to use colors that's in your photo to kind of tie it all in together and you just simply stamp it on. Now one other last tip is to sharpen your watermark. Some of the watermarks that have detail to them um, you can simply go to filter, sharpen, and then now they're a lot more crisp. Um, it does that because I have it on a new layer. If you did it on your photo it would crisp in your photo as well. So uh, this is a nice, quick, easy way to watermark all of our photos to be put online. Thank you for watching our tutorials today. Help support our channel by subscribing, posting comments, and liking this video. For more information about us and our products, go to creative-cottage.com. Thank you.